this video I'm going to present you with a business problem that I had in my business and the way that Zodesk was able to solve it. The problem was that whenever employees were getting emails from clients, I was not able to know if they're responding the emails in the same day, following day, or maybe never. I had no clue about the context and the content of the, of the emails. I was in the dark. So for me, the mailbox was really a black box and I don't like to stay in the dark. So the way that I solved it is that I do not have mailboxes anymore. So we do have mailboxes. Those mailboxes are forwarding their emails to Zodesk. Now, in extreme cases, people can still access their mailbox and send emails if they need to. But usually it's not the case. People are supposed to use the ticket system and that's the only place where emails are coming to. Now, when emails are coming to Zodesk, I have full visibility of what's going on. There is also a special system named SLA, which is a service level agreement that's ensuring that people are answering emails on time and responding to people as they should using email templates. Okay, so in this session, I'm going to show you how we are working with Zodesk. It will be a non-technical session. So that's for users. So if you are a user in a company that, are you, that you're using Zodesk, this session is for you because I will show you how to work with tickets, how to work with the views, how to work with all the basic uh, functionality as a user. So let's begin. So whenever you log in to Zodesk, you will see a list of tickets. We are going to touch on the views later on, but right now the view that I'm watching is the open tickets. Those will be all the tickets that are open right now for me, okay? Because it says my open tickets. When you are clicking on a ticket, you can see on the right side, let me click on a different one. Yeah, so you can see on the right side the details about the ticket, which means uh, the subject, the subject of the email that's being translated into uh, the subject of the ticket and the content of this email, which eventually translated into the content of the ticket. You can also see on the middle screen, you can see the person himself. So you will see the account. So the great account is the account name. You can also see the person name here and you can see also the email of the person. You can see who is assigned to him in Zodesk, which Bernie right now, this is me. You can see the status of the ticket, the due date, and you have more fields here, and those fields can be customized for your needs. So you can have everything that you need here. In our system, for example, we have uh, more fields. Some of them will be if this customer tagged us as a partner, which means he's getting uh, I priority whenever tickets coming in. Uh, if, he's a, if he's a member in our VIP club, which means whenever he can send the emails with questions, we will respond to him. So for me, we have, we have different fields here that are more making sense for us. Now for you, it might be a different case. So, so you will need to customize it per your needs. You can see also on the right side that you have this uh, comment box. Now, the comment is being used for me to comment internally. This is how we use it. So, for example, if I talk to the person, he said it doesn't work, I will write here something internal that the client not supposed to see. Okay, I check the machine. It was working and the client was informed. Okay, and that's a comment that I am adding internally, so no one will see it. If on the other side you want to respond to the client, you can click on, for example, reply all, like a ticket, and you can write here, hello client, please check the solution. Okay, and when you click on send, this person is getting the email back to him. Now you can see here also you have something cool. It's a uh, small widget that's being sent to the client whenever you responding with tickets. And he can say if the quality of service was good or not. 
and based on that you can get the report I also like it I think it's cool and you can automate it to be sent on every ticket or maybe only when the ticket is closed so it's really up to you or you can totally remove it and use it 100% like a mailbox now you have here uh, one more feature on the bottom and that's to close the ticket when you are communicate with people you can click on close ticket and then this ticket is being closed and what I like the most about it is in the history area you can see everything that happened with this specific ticket you can see which user did what what changes were done if the ticket was closed why was closed and so on so it's very very useful uh, for sure for me now let me reopen this ticket and I will show you one more thing that I, I like a lot you have here also the resolution se uh, section the resolution will dictate let me go to a ticket with no resolution so the resolution will dictate what happened to close the ticket if I want to have some kind of a control on my business I don't want people to say oh I closed it by mistake whenever you close in the ticket I want to know exactly why you closed it and you need to write here the resolution for example I talked to Lior and agreed one two three and now you click on save so the resolution is in place so if there was a problem with the client that is calling back and saying the solution was not done you're ignoring me whatever it is I can always go back to the history and I can also always see what happened with this specific person okay so this is very very important for me another feature that is very cool is the time tracking if you click here on the start timer you can see that the ticket is being tracked on time now that can be done manually when I'm clicking on the play button or when the ticket is actually being viewed by your employee whenever you will go to a different ticket this timer will stop automatically so you can have more insights and more understanding about the time that people spend on specific tickets if you will click here on all time entry you can also see the time that was spent on this specific one and if the time was billable or not billable now you also have integration with Zoho Books to push those billable hours to Zoho Books so you can charge your customers if needed next I want to talk to you about the different views same like Zoho CRM you will have your bunch of views that are coming as out of the box in this case I am working on the my open tickets but what happens if I want to have my own view something that is not really only mine maybe it's some other different view so I will go here and click on add custom view I will write here Lior's tickets and I will start the criteria so the ownership for example is myself the status is only the open tickets because of course I don't care about the closed ones and one more thing that I did not talk to you yet but I will show you in a second is the due date I want the due date to be for example anything that is before the current time so all the due dates that I have for right now and I missed in the past so all those will be shown to me so when I'm going and clicking on save I can see all the tickets that have a meaning for me now the due date is critical so if for example this uh, ticket is being shown to me I want to be sure that I'm seeing only the tickets that the due date is now or before I don't want to see in the future so if you check here on the left side you can see the due date and let's go for example we'll set it up for the 25th and now if I will go back to my view you can see that this ticket is gone because I see only what I need to see so it's very useful now when from the moment that we we went to work with Zoho Desk because of the due date we're also using the ticket system as a task system so we're not really using the task system in CRM anymore we're just using Zoho Desk tickets as a system that allowing us to follow on what needs to be done so it's also very useful for example in the morning meetings I will just go to the due dates 
and I will go over the team with what supposed to be done and was not done and why. So this is, this is great. Once you go to the email system, you can see that when you're trying to reply to a ticket, you have a small icon that appears here and those will be the email templates. When you click on the email templates, you can see all of them on the right side. And if you like, you can also add your own email template and add them here. So the bottom line is, if you want to have quality customer service or quality way to answer your clients, people need to use templates. They cannot write an email that they like. There need to be some kind of a framework of how to answer clients and with which type of content. And when you do it using uh, the email templates, you have a uniform way to communicate with your clients and you also have some kind of a control to make sure that the answers are correct and in line with your company policy. So let's try to click on existing ticket and let's try to make use of one of those uh, templates. Okay, so let's click on the ticket and let's go here, let's reply. And when I go to reply, I click on email templates. I click on one of the templates and you can see that the template is being preloaded, okay? So this is the way that, that you actually do it. Another question is how can you control the different notifications that you have in Zodesk? And the, the answer is that you go to the settings and then you go to notify. In the notify section, you will have a section for the contact notifications, which means your customer, you have the city CC notifications, agent, department, and team. Now, for each one of those notifications, you will see that you have a tab for email notifications and also SMS notifications. And if you click on the right side of any of those notifications, you can see the email in itself, and you can also change it and also have attachments to it. So. It's up to you whatever content will be in this specific uh, ticket. One more thing that I want to show you is when you go to a ticket, you are also able to see the ZO CRM details and not only the ZO desk details. So you can see a small button beside the account and when you click on it, it will show you all the details that are being retrieved from the CRM. So whatever details you have uh, in the info, in the deals, in the notes, the different activities, everything is being showed in Zodesk. So think about it as a one system that shows you everything in one shot, okay? And it's very useful when you work on it on a day-to-day -day basis. The last thing that I want to show you will be the knowledge base. The knowledge base will be a system that will help your employees do their tasks. For example, in my business, we have almost 100 different knowledge bases that are based on our activities. For example, when a client wants to assign us as ISO partner, people are asking, what are the benefits or why should I do it? The employee will need to go to the knowledge base. He can click on a specific knowledge base and it will tell him exactly how to answer the employee and it will show him exactly how to answer the client so we have all those knowledge bases that are creating also here a unified way to pre be, be presented to the client now one more thing that is also related to the knowledge base you can also open the knowledge base or some of it to the public so your customers are able to go to a Zodesk portal, which is online, and they can see answers for common questions that are, they're being asked. So it's also very, very good. That's it. It's a, it's, a, it's a relatively easy product to deal with, not that difficult to set up. And whenever you need to any, have any type of work with Zodesk, you will see that it feels like an email system. It's not overwhelming and difficult like some of the other ticket systems out there. It's very, it's very nice. Thank you for watching this session. If you have any questions or need anything, shoot them in the comments below. 
I will see you in the next session.